Goodbye. Hey guys, it's the 100,000 subscribers video that you've all been waiting for. I'm doing a Switch Nintendo giveaway to you guys to say thank you for subscribing and watching my videos and your support. And also I wanted to try doing something like this because obviously a lot of people have been painting on stuff. I paint on books but I've never painted on anything electronic and it just seemed like something fun to do and also a nice way to say thanks to you guys. So I got the Nintendo Switch Lite and I'm gonna paint on it and I'm terrified. But let's do it. Alright, so I'm going to use Posca's to paint this and I'm not doing a primer, I'm not going to take it apart and spray it or anything, I'm just using Posca's and I've never done this before so bear with me. I'm just going to do the back, I think I'm going to go around this line and then because people touch the front a lot, I mean you touch the back but I think it will be nicer to just have sort of like an image on the back. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna tape up all around the edges, I think, to kind of cover it up. And I'm very anxious and nervous about this, so I hope that it turns out okay. But let's get down to it, shall we? I think what I'm gonna do is not to this line, but to that line. I'm not sure if that will look good or not, though, so we'll see. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it all the way around, yeah. Okay, let's start. Um, what I'm going to do is do like a colour overall and then I want to do just like a gradient. I'm trying to keep it quite simple because obviously it's the first time I've done it and it's quite an expensive piece of equipment. So I'm going to use a sponge. Yeah, let's go with pink. Right, okay. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to sponge it on. I might have to put it like actually on to... the sponge hmm didn't quite work maybe I'll have to just go for it so obviously these are grey switches so it would help to have like a primer base but I don't want to risk taking it apart and like damaging it in any way because obviously this is going to go to one of you guys so I don't want to F it up too much. <laughs> Hopefully it will be fine. Goodbye. Okay, I think that's going to shine through the design, which is kind of fine because I think that's quite cool. So we're kind of getting somewhere. <laughs> it's still terrifying, but yeah. I think I might have to cut around this little gold thing here so we don't have like too much of a weird mark around it. I think around the areas where there's lines, I'm gonna have to do like a solid color. So then I can go back in and just go in there with detail. Okay, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> we are getting somewhere, guys. You know what, I'm oh. going to take properly around it to get that line and then I know that that's the line that I can go to.
So as I was doing this, I decided to start on by sponging on the Posca acrylic colour with a bit of sponge. And I realised that it just, it looked okay but it needed a lot of build up of colour. And I just wanted to blend and do a gradient like I said. But as I was painting this uh, with a gradient, I think something came through of what I wanted to do and I went with like a sort of cloud design rather than a gradient. I felt like the cloud design came through for me and I wanted to try and draw it like that because I thought it looked quite nice and I wanted to just go with my instincts on it and I think it worked out. Overall, working on this was pretty hard to do. I've never worked on something so expensive before but also this kind of material was difficult and it was a bit of a learning curve for me but I think in the end I'm happy with the results and I would be confident to do this again in the future or something similar for sure because now I've learned from it. I did do a few tests of this on like a plug <laughs> of my switch and I think it worked out quite well. I mean there's nothing to show of it, it's just different like swatches of um, Poscas and I tried out using um, different paints and variants of what how I could make how I could do this and in the end the Poscas just won out because they were just the easiest to use I guess and I mean there is a little bit of um, disadvantage to using the Poscas because you just have this thick tip and you can't really get that kind of fine detail unless you have the, the really thin ones which I have a couple of but none of which I could use in this one so yeah, overall I think it turns out quite nice. It's a simple design, but I think it works and it pleases me. So I'm going to take the tape off now and see how it worked underneath. Oh, okay, not bad. I think I need to like do some touch-ups around here of the actual other colours and then I think that will be it. I've done a layer of water varnish, water varnish? Of varnish as well, so hopefully it will be alright to handle.
Okay, so now I just need to do a few touch-ups and I think we're done. Okay guys, I think we're going to call this done. If you would like to win this uh, switch light with this custom design, then let me know in the comments down below. Just say I want to win this and yeah, that's it. That's the video. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys liked it and that's the final product. Let me know what you think and I hope that this will bring one of you some joy in the future. I will varnish this again in a bit, but this is the final thing for now. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Bye!